Okay, hello everybody, welcome to game number three of Ultra Beasts. A Chaos Mirror, but down 200 TV. 250 TV. Because, um, I guess he's got Journeyman. So that's a bit shit, isn't it? Um, yeah, he's got two Journeymen. So he's, he's going the Journeyman abuse kind of route. Um, which is, you know, sad. And maybe he's not. If he's 3-2-3, maybe he just had players died. Oh, right, he's got, he's got loads of agility, though, so that's okay. So I guess... At least, at least the 250 TV that I'm down isn't ma mega killers. Um, so this might not be too bad, actually. Um, I could spend my own money and get Borak. Or a wizard and a bribe. I think a wizard and a bribe might be, might be the best. Um, because I've got a feeling. He's probably conceded, hasn't he? He hasn't, is he... He won two nil, not from a concession. He hasn't. He hasn't actually conceded. So interesting. Interesting that he hasn't conceded. But I think just fouling people is. I don't know though. I don't know. It's, it's probably better for me to get the extra apple, isn't it? And then I've got kind of twelve players. And then hopefully the mighty blow guy will be enough. I imagine I'm going to get outbashed. So I guess guarding against being outbashed is better than going all in on the bribe and hoping to outbash him. I guess that's better. Unfortunately not VIP Jam Toast. Um, there's no best Fagor. It is just, it is just Pokemons. Pokemons forever. TBH. I feel the need. The need for speed. Thank you, Rod Bracked, for the follow. Confirmed pixel hugger. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, look, um, at the end of the day, you actually, you actually have to be a bit of a pixel hugger in the match, don't you? Like, there's no point in just losing players for no reason. So, um... B, L, and G, F. <laughs> Good luck and have fun. Bad luck and get fucked. Um, yeah, you've, you've got to protect your key players to win the game, haven't you? So, so on a match level, um, I am somewhat a pixel hugger, but obviously... What's probably cost me in the past is giving up good players for results. Um, much like... <laughs> Hello VIP Ori Lensis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that he was playing in that. And it's like, what? what's the point? I, I just don't see the point of playing in in a trash league like that. It just doesn't, doesn't appeal to me. But um, there you go. Blood Bowl Idol, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rod Brown. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe it's better to play later for... Because I played late last night, before the Super Bowl, and I got... Yeah, it is, Will King, it is. But to purposefully play something even more trash is um, is something, isn't it? Yes, exactly, Orleans. That's the thing. That's the, that's the thing. <laughs> Three men sidelines. <laughs> that is... <laughs> <laughs> that is the thing, Aurelensis. That's what I don't like about it because it's just like um, it's just like you've got to deal with it. You've got to deal with these bastards trying to be. I mean, he's got a GT4 all over the shop, and and nothing in Blood Bowl is that unlikely. So I'm trying the BS and and just manzing me is going to work out a fair amount of times. It is tough. It's but if this guy gets a Kaz, it's good, isn't it? And this guy 
So there's 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 a few warriors looking for cars. I've had an unbelievable start to be fair in two games to have a warrior on fourteen and two warriors on four is is an outrageously lucky start. Even though I had a guy die and haven't skilled up a beast man yet. It's absolutely fucking unbelievable to have the amount of star player points on warriors is is really good. So I'm happy about that. Alright. It's on like Donkey Kong. Yeah, the bludge go well, but I've got a wizard for him, haven't I? So So that's something. I think I want to blitz the thing with Mighty Blow. I think I have to. Right, and the two guys on three back. Just hope he doesn't get a blitz with his Agility 4 bastards. Chen watched all of the videos. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect defense is a little bit annoying because if he all ma if he mans us here, it's bad news, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Jam toast. One of the like you know a lot of people a lot of people hate on the mino. Um, he's he's got he's got mighty blow, hasn't he? And and that's the thing that there's two things that give worse players a chance in these matches, and one is. <laughs> I've spent three minutes trying to put three on the sidelines again. One of the ways is they get they get agility four BS or agility three BS, and the other way is they get early removals or you know more obviously late removals still count, but more more early removals than late removals are more damaging, aren't they? And and that's one of the ways they can beat you. One of the main ways they can beat you. And uh, so yeah, taking out the minor is a great strategy. Yeah, but it's the one in nines, isn't it? A good chance of using a reroll. I mean, I shouldn't one in eighty one, but there's a good chance And he's got the agility four to sneak around the sides. It's um I never like people all manzing me with this chaos. Low T V. Well anyone really at low T V except dwarves I guess. And even then if dwarves get, they can get pressure on the ball, can't they? It's not good because I can't block with this guy who's in the middle. Yeah, exactly, Adonta Kellis. Yeah, so it's the right play for him. It, it, yeah, exactly. So it's the right play. You know, that's he wants to go high risk, high reward, doesn't he? That's That, again, is his best chance. Is to go like like, like what, what Fashbinder hates with the old, you know, the fouls and everything. But that that's what, that's what they need to do because they need to go high risk, high reward. Yeah, absolutely. Right, it's, he's going to go here though. And then hopefully just 2D down the line. Somewhat. Hmm. So far, so far, I got nothing. <laughs> And there's the one in nine. Not a single AV break. <laughs> Mm 
and a reroll gone. See, that's why I don't like it. And failed to pick up. A good, good strategy. He gets to go and pick up the ball now in a tackle zone. Blitz with him. Swarm through. It was absolutely shit. But next turn it gives me a load more blocks, and then I'll one in nine one of them as well. So it's, it's it is tough. It is tough when people all mens you. If it just drains the rerolls, and you need the rerolls for doing stuff and things, don't you? It's all right if you've got um, what's it called? If you've got um, block. Then you're all right, you know. If this was a developed team, he would just be, he would have just been fucking banged on, wouldn't he? Obviously, even just a little bit more developed, it would have been horrific for him, probably. And I'd have been happy at him doing it. But when you've got no block at all on your team, I really don't want to be all men's. I really, really don't. Not from turn one, because now the chance of me, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it could have been all pushes. True. True, it could have been all pushes. I guess I've just got to prioritise which ones get rerolls more. Yeah, lots of is shit, especially for chaos. Now he makes one block. Will he get the AV break? No. What better championship can you make? NAF style. NAF style. 12, 20, 12, 30 TV res. Can't get better than it. I mean, well, you can. You can on PC. Because obviously with PC you could have... Um, you could, like, have other stuff. You could have... Um, you could have... I don't know, 1,300 TV teams, 1,300 gold, and then, um, yeah, I really do too, Jam Toast, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? That would really be amazing. But you kind of feel that if, they, if that was going to be the case, they would have got, um, they would have uh, invited, like, Mike Davies, wouldn't they? But, you know, they, they could make cyanide rules, they could, they could ask... Fair enough. Not the best players in the world, but they could ask. Um, the NAF rules, though, the thing is, though, Squirrel Dude, the only people who take piling on in NAF rules is, isn't is ogres, really, and, like, ogres. Maybe, maybe Norse, but just ogres. Just big guys are the only ones that take piling on already, so it's, it's, it's not so bad for NAF. The NAF rules are a bit... You know, people are making too much of the fact that the NAF um, are using the old piling on rules. There's a reason that they're doing that. But, um, yeah, they could have asked people who knew about Blood Bowl. And they could have, like... Which, in their case, would be Sage and Lupak. And they could have asked them how many... How much TV they wanted to make it. And um, I guess I've just got to clear it now then, don't I? What an absolute fucking... I mean, I'm just fucked. I'm just absolutely... Completely fucked from turn one. Thanks to his, um... Thing. Gotta make this block, because I've got to be able to re-roll it. Alright, good. Now I've got to mend him to give me a fucking chance. Now I've got to accept that. Alright, okay, all oh, this beast man. That was alright. Fucking hate being all mensed. Ugh. Yeah, PD at low TV, yeah, it's absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. 
Yeah, I'm sure they would, Squirrel Dude. But... Well, they wouldn't. No, no, they wouldn't. Well, yeah, I guess it would come out about that, but that'd be okay. I mean, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be that bad. Um, this is the first game I'm I just started at at one p.m. GMT. Finally, some blood. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, eighteen hundred be okay because eighteen hundred be like say about fourteen. Well, like how much do you need in a team? No, true Jelly Ol, but seeing as they're who they would ask, it would be better asking them than people who don't play matchmaking at all. But, you know, they could ask... I mean, it's better asking them than fucking Dode. It was a perfect defence, Pedro Jack, where he just based, he just based everybody. Um, so, like... It's better than asking Dode or Voodoo Mike, that's what I'm saying. But, you know, better than asking somebody who doesn't play at all. But, um, yeah, 1,500. 1,500, it depends, though, because, you know, 1,800 is, it depends how much is skills and how much is team. Like, how much do you really need for your team? Like, um, a Chaos team starts off with 1,000, doesn't it? And what does it really add? A Reserve or two? And an Apple? So, for, for 1,200, you buy... Like, 1,200 gets you a full Chaos team, doesn't it? So, 1,200 just for the team. And then, like, 10 skills or whatever. <laughs> just look. <laughs> NAF is 1,100 for the team. It's because it's team and skills, isn't it? You've got to separate it into teams and skills. So, NAF is 1,100 for the team. And then, 30, 130, well, 6 skills. And 1,100. And obviously, I don't think that's necessarily the holy grail. It's just what's easier to do on tabletop, isn't it? Because you can't keep track of 20 skills on tabletop. Or stacked skills on tabletop. So, um... So... You know, maybe... I don't, like, what, a Necro team? They get the starting team, and then they would add... Um... A Werewolf and a Ghoul. A... If you take, what's he called, um, Inarian zero reroll starting team and add three rerolls and an apple, that's 1,200. So 1,200 is almost, is almost um, enough to buy everything you want. So you could make, you could make it like 1,250 or something, or 1,300 for the, for the teams, and then go like, add, add like 20 skills or whatever or something. <laughs> um, it's not. It, it doesn't actually take three or four seasons to get back to the Prem in UK BBL Targaryen Tantrum, but um, I am, I am, I am absolutely re-rolling in um, in UK BBL because my team got killed, so I get my chaffs here. Right? How do I even? How do I, I can't even get two dice in? Him. <laughs> what? <laughs> what <a> stupid, <laughs> stupid, stupid game? <laughs> Outrageous defensive wizard against somebody who's won three, drawn two, lost two, lost three. Won three, drawn two, lost three. Unbelievable, Jeff. Got a blitz from this direction to get another hit on him, don't we? I think just, yeah, one season if I top the division, yeah. Which, with chaffs, there's a chance, isn't there? There is absolutely a chance of chaffs topping the division. He can block him. I'd rather knock him down though, wouldn't I? But then the the guys open. I don't want to make a fucking GFI.
because I've got no choice. And I guess I've got no choice there either. Got to go there to clear the tackle zone. <laughs> Skull out. Down to one reroll after three turns and one in 81. See you later. Lost the game against somebody who probably is nowhere near as good as me. And I don't know, that's what I hate about playing late in the season in in in, in Champion Ladder. And what I hate about streaming as well, I always want to win every game. And it's you can't, can you, in Blood Bowl? You just can't. You just can't win every game. Can't win them all. Um... Yeah, I am re-rolling. Yeah, so I I think my my like I don't know cabal vision format would be say um, one thousand three hundred to buy your team, and then something like twenty skills, and then, or maybe more skills. I don't know. And then, like, you know, you can stack two or three. Three on one player, two on two players, or two on three players or something. And just stuff like that. And, um... I reckon that'd be good. Really At least his minor's gone stupid every turn. Oh, here we are. Fouling removal and send off percentages. I'll have a look at that later. Thank you very much, Grill Dude. A fucking one in eighty one block. <sighs> and he's got he's got loads of agility for just to go I guess they're they're all tied up at the moment. That was a lucky stun. I've got no idea no I'm done. I've got yeah, somebody's already gone up. They've sorted it out like. No, I've got to hit him. Gotta hit him. Oh god, this is horrific. Gotta get this guy to have an hour, this guy to pick up. Yep, out of rerolls on turn four. There you go, that's what's. That's just absolutely what you get, isn't it? I wouldn't expect anything else. He getting manned. Fuck it, I'll just go for the 5 plus, 3 plus dodge out.
could have been worse. The fact he's got three agility four, which is I'm out of rerolls on turn four. <laughs> yeah, it's weird how loud the beard sounds. I I don't understand why it's so loud. But yeah, it does really pick that up, doesn't it? Oh now now is mine all works. I hate Minos, they're too good. Nerf Minos 2017. I'm going for the pickup of the Mino! <laughs> Was that a misclick? Oh dear, this is what I'm up against. This is what I'm losing against at the moment. <laughs> Somebody who's just like, yeah, why not? I'll, I'll go for the pickup with a, with a Mino. Didn't need to do that, did I? That was a misplay. Alright, it's, it's working well with no rerolls. Maybe that's what I need to do, just get rid of all my rerolls. Oh no. Oh no. No, that isn't what I needed to do. Wow, Apple worked. Unbelievable. <sighs> yeah, this is game one of today, Berg 787. And uh, game number three total of the team. But, wow. It's tough, isn't it? It's tough when... <laughs> when your opponent gives you all these blocks and I guess he's got two he's taken two KOs but he's, he's drained all my re-rolls and he's got the ball he stole the ball yeah absolutely Pedro yeah went pretty well until it didn't that's the kind of nature of no re-rolls isn't it it goes pretty well till it doesn't And there's nothing, nothing you can do about it at all. Shizer. <laughs> the dude's team is insane, yeah. Eventually it'd be a very good team, wouldn't it? Well, yes and no. Once they've got block guard, dodge and agility for they're really good, aren't they? Ah! Oh. I mean, he's, he's failing his fair share of things, to be fair. And I'm just sad that all my, um, oh. oh he read the reroll, but then, but then one in nine anyway. I'm just sad that my bloody, I'm out of rerolls, really. That's the big thing, it's just being out of rerolls. We've got the same fucking colours nearly as well. Which makes everything more difficult, doesn't it? Right. Can't blitz him away. He could blitz and another player could come over there. Pretty tough to get it safe, isn't it? Obviously he goes for the pickup. 
and then runs away to there. I think this this is where the blitz has to be. And then run over there, then he can tag him. He's got to do the useless tag on him. Two TZs though. Um, no, you can subscribe um, any time at Kellis. Um, you just pay on the first month, on the first of the month. So, for example, you could pledge now, and then you don't pay until the first of the third. Um, is how it would be. Feeling his minor pickups. Yeah, he was unlucky feeling his minor pickups. Yeah, there's a lot of bloat, but. Oh, it's really bad that he's got GD4. <laughs> this looks like to be 0 0, doesn't it? And then hopefully he fails one of his KOs, so he's got 10 players versus my 11. And then hopefully I turn him over somehow without a wizard. If you haven't used a defensive wizard, really fucking sucks, doesn't it? But better to use it then than not use it and lose, isn't it? That's the thing. I could have lost already if I hadn't used the wizard when I used it. As much as I was unhappy about using it. Guess I've got to watch for this guy scoring now. Yeah, he's straight out. Yeah, thank you very much, Don Nicholas. Yeah, that's the thing. The, the streaming's got to be. Um, I know I've got to be consistent. I just, it's struggle. I'm struggling to think of like a good schedule, and so I think yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll try different stuff, try different times, and see what works maybe. Because I'm, I'm just fucking tired now. The first game. Maybe I just get tired when I lose. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> maybe I just got tired at, at, at like seven. Or half seven the other time just because I was losing. Maybe that's literally all it is. Maybe I won't get tired if I don't lose. I need a canoring threat, don't I? Which, he's the only one. And I've got to deal with his one. So I guess he can do it. He can run around. He has to deal with his scoring threat. And there's this guy as well. This dodger. Unbelievable, Jeff. Gotta be a bit sensible, haven't I? Rather than Rather than getting canoring threats up, I've got to make sure it's harder for him to score. No. He rolled a one. Yeah, I'll be streaming every day, um, but just maybe trying different different times each day until until I settle on what's best. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. TBH fam.
rough this, isn't it? At least I've defended pretty decently. But no touchdown. <laughs> defended pretty decently on my offense. <laughs> okay, now. Rough. I should have kicked, really. I know I should have kicked. But the thing is, if you kick, then there's a chance you just get beaten up, isn't there? And then if you get beaten up, you can't defend. Even if you stop them scoring on defense, if you get beaten up, you fucked. And I thought, chances are, I'll do all right. How wrong I was. How wrong I was. I should have... I should have kicked, I guess. Makes two cars. Funny that, isn't it? With all those blocks that you gave up. Against my fifth, seven, seven mighty blow blocks. And there you go. Yeah, exactly, don't they, Kevith? Just perfect defence. Just just game fucking ruining. Drive, drive, a drive killer there, isn't it? Perfect defence, going all mans. Well it's it's rookie though, man, it is. It's not it's no mighty blow. There's only like two blocks in the entire Oh, he's got one mighty blow, but he's wild animal. I've got one mighty blow. He's got two blocks, I've got no blow. So, I know you you may be used to seeing um, you may be used to seeing Lupak pitch clearing with Rookie Chaos, but um, it's it's not normal. <laughs> it's not normal. So push will mean he's out of range, and a push will mean he's out of range. Yeah, playing chaos. Yeah, except the one crucial blitz, yeah, yeah. I'm not to both down to, to power my guy and uh, Kazim. I guess I should have put another player in there, shouldn't I? That was a bit, um... Right, so now he needs to be pushed again. But then I guess there's this guy as well. So you could do with an extra marker on him. If I push him there, he probably can't get chained. So I guess he goes on there. I know he can get another, another one on the ball, it's probably better, isn't it? Another one on the ball. So obviously that dodge wasn't wasn't great, but it, st it stops him chaining these guys, doesn't it? That's what I was thinking. Stops any potential chains. But I mean, it just sucks being 250 TV down, doesn't it? Even though his TV is inefficient. What with it being three agility ups and a mino. I'd still rather be. I'd still rather be even TV. No, not properly, Will King. No, obviously the fact the fact that you're trying to qualify in the last fucking ten days or nine days means it's not a proper qualification go, is it? Um. No, it's not a proper, not a proper stab at qualification. But I would like to qualify, you know, if I if I could. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not a proper goal. The proper goal will be next month with Chaffs. 
exactly it's inefficient but it still matters exactly i'd rather he just didn't have it i'd rather he was the same as we with me with no block and all agility three yeah the adjustments are gone yeah <laughs> yeah that's true jerry I was actually disturbed by having the 2D more. Oh, so both stayed out. That's great, though. So, so now this this is this is good. I'm glad that my point has been made for me despite getting banged on in that thing. This is why I choose to receive at low TV and bash mirrors because even though he stopped me scoring, um, it's been a heavy cost to him down to nine players, hasn't it? Although it hasn't really worked out like that because <laughs> he did cause two cars himself. So he didn't get out bashed. But normally, normally what happens is you can stop them scoring at low TV by basing a lot. And the price you pay is you get out bashed. Whereas he did actually, he did actually out bash me. But due to, my, due to me using um, both of my apples, it looks like I haven't been out bashed. It looks like he's been out bashed. And now, with nine players, he can get turned over and scored on, can't he? He does have three L's, yeah. That is true, he does have... He does have three L's. Which is always going to give him a shot. Still got, still got my giant cup of tea. The perfect example of of choosing. I, I played. I played somebody. I can't remember his name now. There was somebody who was in chat and that, and he was he was orcs, and he was a, he was a, he was a good player, decent player, whatever you want to say. And he had orcs, and I was chaos, and. Uh, I don't know who chose to kick or receive, but I stopped him scoring, but it just slightly slotted my team because I had the mans in to stop him. And then it was like, it was kind of like this second half. I started with eight, seven or eight against 11 and I just got banged on. He's got a blodger as well, which is like a super, superstar, isn't he? Against a thousand TV team. But yeah, two of his elves are shitty elves, that's true. Yeah, that is good, Jellio. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm re-rolling. I'm re-rolling to Chaffs in UK BBL definitely. Um, I've just got to, I've just got to choose a backup. I've got to choose a backup race and then apply to Group B with the backup race. Which um, I don't know. I think Chaos is capped. Somebody said Chaos is capped. So I guess again it would just be another short-term team because then I'd re-roll. So I guess it could be something. I'll, I'll have a look and see what's in the division and then choose something. Maybe it's just undead. Just re-roll to undead. Win there and stuff. Just win again with rookie undead, I guess. <laughs> it's lame. It's lame, but um, I mean, what else for a change? Oh, that's his player. Oh, my God. Only ever stuns, though, notice. When when my opponent's players get hit by, by rocks, they're always stuns. But I mean that's that's brutal. Not quite as brutal as the perfect defence that he got against me. But rock is, and that, I mean that's okay. If that's the effect of rock, it's not bad, is it? Getting a player stunned from a rock isn't the end of the world. But um, if this was 2000 TV versus 2000 TV, and he just gets a fucking legend club on a kill by rock, it's a fucking joke, isn't it? And it's still always dumb luck that you can't mitigate. The only way, the only thing you can do to mitigate throw a rock is have two players back to pick up the ball, um, in case one of them gets hit by the rock. Because if he'd been hit by the rock and he's stunned, you can't even get back to the ball, can he? So, so that's like the only thing, only mitigating play you can do against throw a rock, which is shit. Yeah, it's not chess, so it's alright. Yeah, what do you want? If you if you don't want if you don't want dumb as shit RNG, just play chess. Yeah, that's that's the argument that some people make. But um. That's the thing, it's just such a good game. That's the thing, Blood Bowl is just so good now. Not like it was in 3rd edition. That I think they should drop all of the dumb shit from 3rd edition that's that's still there. 
I think we should just make it better. The Minos made like about two or three blocks in the entire game and he's removed two players. <laughs> it's just... I hate my... The Minos are too good. Nerf Minos 2017. There's some great things on the orc throwers on Steam. Holy shit. It's so funny. Well, Mana Rays, they're, they're all on the YouTube. That's why I'm not using them now. Because they're all on the YouTube already. So um, so I thought it'd be a bit, you know, boring to just keep playing them. I would love to mighty blow the, 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 um, the Mino, but it's inefficient, isn't it, when he's giving me a, when he's giving me a block for free. Needing a power really is really fucking shitty. Is he in scoring range? No, he's not. I want a blitz. I want to blitz him. Because it opens up the path for the ball carrier a bit, doesn't it? Shit, I don't know if this is post or not right, I'll have to I'll have to be right back. Um Well, yes. If you if you want to learn the game, then um, reading the rules is absolutely number one. Yeah, exactly. Notorious noob. Yeah. <sighs> right. 
YouTube Dunsky. Um. Yep, fresh chaos, yep. Um, you declare the action, you don't declare the entire move. You you would you'd stop at each dice roll, so like it automatically staggers it effectively. Um is there a way to the ball here? He knocks him, he knocks him. And if they're both pals, we're in. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> oh, it's the loner. Oh, fucking brilliant. Cunt. I should have spotted it was the loner. <sighs> fucking hell. 1 in 18. See, I was. Now, I'm not blaming chat, but I look to chat and I think about that and I don't look and see that's my loner. And had I known that was my loner, maybe I stand this guy up first, maybe I move this guy in here and then do this block first, and then I can re roll it. Um, but wow, it's still shit, isn't it? Yes, Sir Mollet is a rookie. Rookie team, it's got one mighty blow. That's all it's got. Yeah, it's my, it's my fault for getting distracted and not paying, giving 100% focus, isn't it? I can't believe people are complaining in UKBBL about streamers getting an advantage. They should fucking try it themselves. Everyone who fucking complains. I should have right I should you know, Sage was all like, you know, very mealy mouthed and humble and everything and rah rah rah. And I felt like saying, look, anyone who fucking complains should just fucking stream their games and see how they fucking like it. Cause it's fuck it it makes it all it does is make it harder. Fucking hell. People absolutely, people absolutely complain, Saramol, because um, because I got a PM about it. Me, me, Sage, and Loop, I all got a PM about it, about people saying saying people have complained. So, yeah, yeah, people have complained. If this one dice is a push. I can GFI to two DM, can't I? Which, um, the other option is too dangerous to base him, which isn't, isn't really very exciting. Skull. Pow. Unbelievable. <sighs> wow. Oh, would you believe? Would you fucking believe it? I mean, the, th the sad thing is I can't keep it safe at all because of the agility fall. But, um, I guess I can try for this dodge. Yes, well done, Jellyel. <laughs> um... I mean, it's just it's just super easy for him. That's the bad thing. Two do pluses, and he's got two D on the ball. 
I've made that three plus, you can only get a one D. Which would have been alright, wouldn't it? I mean, it was best I was, that's the best I was going to get. Blodge guard, stand firm, break title, crocs ago. That's pretty. He is a dirty dingo. Congratulations, Ducky. <laughs> Man, this this Steam forum is so fucking amazing. There's a new one now. I did it wrong. That was nice of him, wasn't it? What's he What's he playing at? Why didn't he just dodge this guy away and then blitz with this guy? Instead, he's just made him made himself an extra, made himself make an extra three plus for no reason. Good and actually punished. Unbelievable. Exactly, Noam Do. Exactly. Exactly. That's the craziest fucking thing. That anybody can just get can just hop on Discord or something like it, Teamspeak, whatever, and just be like, "Hey, buddy, buddies." Oh God, I got a GFI here. I'm gonna, I just have to do it. There's no, there's no other option here but a GFI. All right, good. And then he can blitz him. Holy shit. Oh my god! I guess I shouldn't have pushed him there because that put him closer. That was a bit. That was a bit stupid. Um, but I was thinking about standing here, you know, further up. But I guess that was that was a bit stupid. In the end. Right. And now. I want to go here so that if I get knocked in the crowd, one, two, three. Ah. I want to go there. Obviously, so I'm further away. But then, if he just does, I don't know, a block there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, he can't even hit him. So I guess I've got to go here, haven't I? This lad will two dice this lad. <sighs> what do I do? He could... He can only base. So I could do the four plus dodge so that he can 2D him. Or... He could one dice him. So then that could be a... I think I just keep them all there. I think just keep them all there and keep them occupied. It's probably better. Should have thought for the extra minute though. Rather than thinking that's good enough. Yeah, exactly, Ceremal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I agree that it was raised, but not in the way you see he's complaining. Yeah, but then we got proper... We actually got PMs, yeah. Yeah, Jalil, seriously, yeah. Seriously. Seriously, someone said that streamer gets advantage from chat comments, yeah. And then, like, Sage is like, I invite all my opponents into Discord and everything, and they can see the chat. They can read the chat too and all this kind of stuff. And, and made all sensible points. Whereas I just wanted to say... You know... <laughs> certainly wouldn't happen in leagues of the World Cup, yeah. Yeah, there was the thread, yeah. Yeah, there was the thread, but then there was there was a PM as well. Um, I don't know who else was in it. I might find out who, who complained if they, um, if I see who else is in it. Hi, streamers. Maybe it isn't complaining. Maybe I'm being too harsh. There you go. A number of people who watch the semi-finals on the streams have messaged me that they are worried about coaching from viewers. Um, so, yeah. And I guess the semi-final on the stream, the only one who streamed the semi-final was me, wasn't it? So, 
There you go. Oh no, Bleeding Hippie was in the semi, wasn't he? Yeah, Bleeding Hippie was in the semi. As well, obviously. So yeah, crazy. So people could have people could have been complaining about his games too. His game too. Crazy. Crazy if you ask me. Right. He can go there. So that he can block him and then get this guy free. This lad. I'll move him first because these are in a better position. I guess I should set him up first. Stand him up. He can only base. So might as well run him forward as far as possible. Got him. Kill his, kill his mino. Would be nice. <laughs> yeah, VIP Orlensis. Yeah, exactly, Seramol. Yeah, yeah. There was the. I knew what you're talking about when they were. Yeah, people were saying stuff before it started. Yeah. Um, someone from OFL, wasn't it? Was was saying stuff like he wasn't happy about it because that. And I was like, nah, mate. I was like, nah, mate. It's fucking. It's well out the stream and then um, but there you go coaching from Fash <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so well. um, yeah chat is definitely more of a hindrance than a help absolutely yeah exactly I think that too try yeah <laughs> totally capable of losing without distractions. Oh, I'm I'm totally capable of losing without distractions. Um, yeah, I'm totally. I'm totally capable of losing without distractions. I'm not I'm not blaming blaming all of my losses on this chat or anything. But yeah, it's it's really bad when you do um when you just like that 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 loner. I could have done that myself anyway. I absolutely could have done that myself anyway. But of course, when you. When you are distracted, it makes it that much more likely, doesn't it? I might just score next turn. He ain't going to score a two-turner, is he? Probably. Probably. He might. He's got agility four. But I think it's probably going to be too easy for him to get two dice on the ball. Or even one dice on the ball. Yeah, I guess he's he's not going to be easy to get two dice on the ball, but it's going to be pretty easy to get one dice on the ball. <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot of pressure on here, hasn't he? Like realistically, he could blitz. He could block him, and I could get two guys to defend it, but. Tell you what, I'll move this guy in first. I'll play like I'm gonna quad skull. Because that's just that's just good blood ball, isn't it? Play like you're going quad skull. Right, and if I push him to here, one, two, three, four, five. Nah, I just can't get it safe, can I? Unless, like, a power and kill him. Power and armor break, I could think about it. No power. <gasps> Should have pushed him there because I was going to score. Oh, no. Terrible. Terrible play. Oh, no. I deserve to lose. Fucking hell. Should have pushed him there. I was thinking about stalling if I powered, and then because I was thinking about that. Again, because I'm streaming. Um. Like like that game against Fash where oh god if I lose the last reroll here oh thank god like that game against Fash when I was like demonstrating where I could move um, and then misclick because of it <laughs> yeah Sean four four eight nine eight he's got three plus edges 
two plus Aji warriors and um, a plus Aji beast. So we've got 11, 11. Oh no, he's got 10 still. I want strength on the outsides. Level up for him, that's good, isn't it? Very good level up for a warrior. Two and zero at the moment. VIP Red Joker. Um, yeah, I risked the trip white because I fucking pushed the wrong square. <laughs> the help of streaming right there. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, yeah, because that's what I was just thinking of talking through that if this is a pal, I'll push him here. It wasn't a pal. I should have pushed him the other way. Fucking stupid. Stupid as fuck. My fault though. It's my fault, isn't it? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I, and I could have done that. I could have just misclicked. Or um, or just done it anyway because I'm fucking stupid sometimes. But um, yeah, definitely is easy, easy to blame the chat. <laughs> or not just the chat, just the act of streaming and thinking like thinking through or talking through alternate, alternate. To, and I, after I did all of the good blood ball things of imagining what if it's quad skulls, and then I just did the dumbass blood ball play of pushing the wrong square. <laughs> yep, that's very true, VIP Orialensis. Yep, that's true. It's all you need to do. This lad will two dice, this lad. And that's it. It looks like he's not even trying to do a one turner hit, a two turner here by the fact he's got his agility four on the line, punching things. Yep, every, it's very true. Very true, Jaleel. Thanks for the coaching. Yeah, I guess that's true, Norm. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's true, Norm. Um, yeah. Yeah, oh God, if only I had kick right now. <laughs> like, it's funny, isn't it? Kick kick is good sometimes. Oh, God, right. If he loses... If he loses his turn here at the right, that'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? That'd really be nice. Like, it's, I think it's shit that you can lose your turn here. Because... that's Riot is just generally crap, isn't it? That, like... He could have... He could have done well... Forcing the score early, then lose the chance to score because of the right. Just as you know, the right can fuck you otherwise. <laughs> yeah, it is really hard to not to not look at the chat. <laughs> What if they remind him to use piling on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be amazing. I know it should be deep for the pickup, yeah. Oh, now he's got his agility four. Even though he started on the line, now he's a little bit further forward. A little bit not making blocks now. He's got his agility four thrower. He's still got two rerolls, so he's still got a shot, but I've got a reroll for my turn to stop him. Yeah, no, they weren't about that stage fright, no. No, the streamer advantage threads were were literally people will tell me what to do. And Lupac and Sage. Um He's got a reroll that obviously. Um and we were like, No, it's not an advantage. <laughs> <laughs> I was a fucking legend. <laughs> a fucking legend. And and then when it was when we were PM, Sage was like, "No, it's not an advantage." Exactly. Yeah, anyone can cheat without an, with an advisory panel. Yeah, anyone, anyone. The fact that Cabal Vision's there and everything. Yeah, it it seems really weird to me. Absolutely, Oriolensis. I mean, if anything, if anything. I can't be coached because I, I mean, 
if I was hearing people on team speak, you'd be hearing them as well. So, um, and exactly, jam toast. And in fact, and in fact, um, somebody that I did play in UK BBL, I was like, oh, he's made a big mistake here, and then and then he changed his play to to cover that. <laughs> Oh yeah, Samba, yeah, you can look at Samba, can't you? Uh, that's that's a bit cheaty, isn't it, looking at Samba? Yeah, exactly, Jelly, oh yeah, there's money on the line. Lots of money. Yeah, true, it's just people not using Twitch. Yeah, I guess that's the thing. Yeah, Twitch is new, so people don't adjust well to new things. Yeah, true. Very true, Saramal. I'm sure that's all it is. We don't know, Will King, just got a PM, just got a PM from the boss in the league saying people, people were complaining. Yeah, Samba is a pretty much ultimate cheat engine, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, try. Yeah, try. Someone text me players on my phone. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's fair enough. People could be cheating when they turn their camera and stuff off. Um, oh, wow. Brutal. One on the dodge into injured. Unbelievable. I mean, he has been pretty... Un overall, he's probably been unlucky, to be honest. This, is this guy in scoring range? Yeah. So I need the pow. I can push him into a further block, though. And I can foul him. So this guy isn't getting surfed, obviously. I can even three dice him potentially. I need him to cancel him. Hint me two GFI. No, so I can't three dice him. Just gotta re-roll this if it's a failure. Should have moved someone in first. Shit. So that was a misplay, wasn't it? Injury. Yes, he's got his level. Yes. Oh, yes, that was outstanding. Um, yeah, I should have moved this guy here in case it was a in case it was a quad skull or or pushing a double skull. He should have been here. Oh, in fact, he should have been here first. That's the play I should have made. Definitely. But who gives a shit? It's done now, isn't it? Get the foul here. Spite foul, turn 16. This guy can do it to save getting knocked down. Got him. A scoring threat. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. I could have done it, couldn't I? I just don't want my players to die, but yeah, maybe I should have done a scoring threat, you're right. Got the 2 0 win. Probably should have done that VIP jump toss, good call. That coaching could have come in useful for me. MacFagor, <laughs> um, is that what he is? MacFagor, <laughs> oh my god. There's some good Fagors, isn't there? No, he's, he's named his players, so they're not, they're not Fagors. But is. <laughs> MacFagor. <laughs> MacFagor is an amazing name. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that would have been that would have been good. The cheeky scoring threat, TBH. Once once I dealt with that, that would have been the advantage to effectively misplaying. I think I should have definitely moved a player here right here. Oh, he's getting the surf in. Doesn't even get doesn't even get SPPs from his. Oh, good, he does. Good for him. Maybe he'll foul my loner. That would be nice. My <laughs> God, feels the need for speed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. GG. Wow. Pretty lucky there. I mean, pretty lucky to, for him to make two cars and then me, and me to only make two KOs, but then I appled both the cars I took. He, his, both of his KOs failed to come back. And um, there you go. It is what it is. I'll go for his best player. 
as it were. A bit risky though with a mighty blow. I'm not even going to greed it. <laughs> not much of a pussy. No, it was the it was the semi-finals. So it was it was both semi-finals. Um, well, it was the semi-finals. It was the semi-finals. But the participants are the boss, the big boss man, G Coleman seventy six, Lupa, Jimmy Fantastic, and the Sage. And he's like, "Hi guys, is there a way to build a time delay into the streams?" A number of people who watch the semi-finals have messaged me that they are worried about coaching from viewers. So. I'm sure he won't mind me say, saying that because you know it's just a oh fuck, just a thing, isn't it? Um, so you know, you would think with it being the semi-finals, he w he would have included um, bleeding hippie in that, but maybe it was just the semi-final. <laughs> um, double the blocks on him. So I mean, you would have expected me to bash him as well as me having a mighty blow on him. Not well, he he did have the mino to be fair. But in the end, he made two KOs. I only made one. <laughs> but he received more, didn't he? He received more. He took two Kaz and two KO, and I took one Kaz. Two Kaz and one KO. So it was about even bash, despite getting twice as many blocks. And um, a few more armor breaks. So overall, I guess, I guess I was a touch unlucky. But that doesn't tell the whole story, because he failed the two KO rolls, which was obviously absolutely massive. Like, that's the thing, KOs don't, just KOs <laughs> plus Edge. KOs by themselves don't tell the whole story, do they? That's the thing. And um, the fact that his two stayed out and while I uppled my Kaz uh, meant that his Kaz were like KOs and my KOs were like Kaz. Um, Tend to just go Mighty Blow on everyone, to be honest. <laughs> A blight on the Happy Blood Bowl community. <laughs> You would have doubled down. Nah, not after I've used my apple. Not after I've used my apple. No way. <laughs> the viewers pick all throwers see you decide if their coaching is even worth it. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, so close to plus string. I'm tempted to not even go block. I suggest an OP skill block. Hey, don't coach me. Don't coach me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't coach me, bro. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go, go, go. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, no block, all balls. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? It's a possibility to just go no block. It gives the the potential payoff. Like the thing is, if you're down TV, you'd rather have mighty blow than block, wouldn't you? It was a PM jelly. It was a PM. There there was there was a discussion about it before the season started, um, where some people had concerns about about streaming, and I was like, nah, mate. And Sage was like, nah, mate. And Lupak was like, nah, mate. But um. That was a PM that we got because people, you know, I guess I, guess I could have kept it private. I guess I could, sh could and should have kept it private because <laughs> it was a private message. But um, there you go. Hopefully they won't kick me out for sharing a private message. But I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't share a lot of it. Just the kind of thing of, I don't know. I just think it, it was only because I, I, I got distracted by a chat. I really don't think it's a fucking advantage. I really fucking don't think it's an advantage. Um, yeah. Early guard, but the thing is, jam toast. Yeah, okay. Early guard. It's the thing is, I'm going to be down TV, aren't I? That's the thing. Um, yeah, that's true. Ori, VIP Ori lenses. We did all agree. <laughs> we did all agree that it wasn't. It wasn't an advantage. Um, yeah, when I'm down, I'm going to be down TV. So I guess I'm going to be out guarded and out mighty blowed. But I think the way the way to win when you when you're down TV is just lucky removals, rather than some guard guys. And if he gets guard, it's that much longer to to when he gets thing. I may maybe he's, maybe he's mighty blow. I'm thinking mighty blow. 
but um I'm gonna have to stop the stop the match here anyway, just because just for the YouTubes. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.